Hello and welcome to the second stage video in the Anatomy of a Quest series, exploring how to set and maintain your resolve and achieve your ambition. Step two in the Anatomy of a Quest is identifying your skill, competency, and even your experience and temperament deficits. It's a little daunting, and frankly, it's amazing how many people have never really considered this step at all, especially when ignoring this step is like knowing you enjoy the countryside, buying the best and most complex equipment to spend a week camping in style, and never considering whether you have the skill and experience to put up your tent. Never mind, tell the difference between those berries that will make a great breakfast versus those that are going to just make you sick. I'm all for spontaneous declarations, but I am hard-pressed to think of an example of a consistent and sustained achievement that happened without forethought. The Roman philosopher Seneca famously said, luck is when opportunity meets preparation, and part of that preparation is mapping your own personal and professional resources. The parts of you that, unfettered and without direction or restraint, might work against your successes and indeed might act to sabotage it. I think most people, certainly in the UK and US education systems of which I've had experience, are taught to spend so much of their time thinking about what they're going to do when they get older that they spend little to no time considering who they are and indeed who they wish to be. We all have deficits, parts of us that vex us, or make us ashamed, elements of ourselves, physical, psychological, intellectual, that we, we compare to others and while away the hours wishing we had what they seem to have in abundance. A natural but ultimately unhelpful response is to treat our deficits like, um, like a rogue eye floater. Those ghostly shapes that flit across your retina, catching only a glimpse under the right light, only to breathe easy and then forget them as they dart away out of sight. If we plan on finding and maintaining our resolve for a quest, we need to fight the urge to look away and instead examine our resources objectively, the challenges and the deficits for sure. But for those many of you suffering imposter syndrome out there, told at a young age what little you were good for, reminded constantly that you weren't good enough, you must take the same critical, objective and fair lens and use it to expose those qualities you have that others have overlooked. The things that you have that when people look at you, they wish they had it in such abundance. And when you find those things, and you will find those qualities, keep reminding yourself, lest you forget. Humility isn't ignoring your excellent qualities. It's embracing them without being an asshole. Some ideas. One, find someone who loves you and ask them some questions. One, Knowing me as you do, what specific qualities do you see that might help or hinder me in the pursuit of my particular ambition? Ask them that question and get a good answer. Next, find someone who is a technical expert who has achieved already in your area of ambition and ask them a few questions. Precisely what personal qualities made their success possible? What qualities were they missing in hindsight that would have made their journey even easier or more successful? Ask them what single quality, skill or competency did they gain on their journey that made the biggest difference in their success? And then ask them which of their qualities acted against them or even sabotaged their progress. Next, find someone who has achieved success, someone who you respect, it doesn't matter if it's in the same area or a different area than you plan on going into, and ask them this. What did they learn about themselves from their early failures? If it's a person who's achieved success, they will have had early failures. Ask them what they learned and see if that can inform you. All of these answers should inform you. It's not just that you will take their qualities as yours, but it'll help you see how they've examined the parts of them that are really gonna help them and the parts that they have to be vigilant of. In the next video, and the next step of the anatomy request, we are going to talk about addressing those newly discovered skill and competency deficits and creating a personal and professional development plan to ready yourselves for the challenges ahead. As always, please do let me know what you're questing for this year, how you're getting on as we work through these stages. You can connect via Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and those links are in the description. As always, I really want to hear what you've got planned for the world in 2020. There's a paucity of good leadership. There's a paucity of questers. We need more. Good luck and travel well.